Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to group your Samsung Galaxy S3 i747 model from AT&T. And so this particular method is only going to work for this particular model. So if you're here, you must have the AT&T version and you're running Jelly Bean 4.1.1. Right, so I have a previous video where I rooted the Galaxy S3, but that method does not work if you are updated to 4.1.1. And so now I'm going to be showing you. And so before you begin, I suggest and recommend highly that you install Samsung Keys. So this has all the necessary drivers uh, that you would require to uh, get your phone connected to the device so that when you plug it in it'll have the drivers for it and you'll have no problems It's a good start uh, before you do any type of uh, modifying because you want your phone to be communicating with Windows um, properly and so when you go to the website here and you download keys and it'll start to download you just double click on it go through the installation process it'll install the drivers and that's it you don't have to have any of the programs running or anything like that but uh, it just downloads and installs the drivers properly and so once you get all that done we can start by putting the phone first into the recover or download mode and so to do that what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the power button oops you'll hold the power button and you'll turn it off so we're gonna turn this off now and you're gonna wait a little bit and uh, you're gonna download this package here this zip file here and the link will be in the description and so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna unzip it and I'm just gonna put it on the desktop and I'm using 7-zip that's my favorite zipping program right and so we got that ready to go and so what we're gonna do is we can go ahead and fire up Odin here and now we're gonna put our phone into download mode and to do that you hold the volume down button the power button and the home button all at the same time right so we're gonna press and hold all three at the same time and it's gonna be presented with this option and when you see the option you have to quickly press the volume up button and then now we're in the download mode right so when the option pops up press the uh, volume up button and then we'll have uh, our download mode here and now I can plug in the USB cable that's plugged in directly to the computer no uh, hubs or anything like that and when you plug it in you'll see here uh, ID com and it probably could say anything here it doesn't have to say com4 and it says that, that it's added alright now we're ready to begin by loading up our needed files and to do that we click on PDA then we're going to click on the CF auto root D2, A, G, T, yada, yada, all this. Click on open. And that's pretty much it. You click on start. This whole process pretty much takes a few minutes from start to finish. It only takes about 11 seconds, as you can see here. All right, so now that it is finished, what we can do is go to the App Store and we're going to look for Root Checker. And if Super User comes up, pretty much means that uh, you grant this app access and it says, Congratulations, this device is now rooted. All right and uh, be sure to uh, subscribe so that you can check out my following videos on installing a custom ROM on here that's going to be my very next video after this one and so thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later